We spend our whole lives searching for meaning and direction, for something that makes sense. The Bible is supposed to offer that clarity. Is that how it works, though? Because if the Bible is that enlightening, why do so few people spend so little time in it? Maybe we're missing something. Sure, the Bible is the story of God, but it's also our story. If we take God out of the Bible, there is no Bible. But if we take people out of the Bible, there isn't a Bible either. The Bible is our story, with God in the middle of it, as he's always been. Maybe things are about to change. Maybe direction and clarity can actually be found. You can go through the whole Bible using the time you could otherwise waste. And you'd be among friends. That might just change everything. Look in the mirror. Remember today. Because time in the scriptures are going to start shifting things in a month. You're going to realize that you're not alone. Look back in the mirror in a year, and you'll realize that the Bible has changed the way you look at just about everything. Coming home, the search is over. Oh, what a cute little guy. I'm so glad he found Dad, too. Joining us now is Brian Harden. He's founder of the Daily Audio Bible. Brian, we so appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So for viewers who aren't familiar, what exactly is the Daily Audio Bible? Daily Audio Bible is a community of people, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people all over the world, taking a step forward every day through the Bible, and we move through the Bible each year together in community. And, and Brian, you have a podcast. What led you to start the podcast back in 2006? Give us the story behind that. Yeah, I mean, I had spent a couple of decades in the Christian music industry here and realized that my faith, the faith that I had had my whole life, I'm a pastor's son, so the faith that I had had my whole life was very shallow, had no depth to it, and I was uh, really disenfranchised really wondered about all of this Jesus stuff. But I thought before I can uh, flush this out of my life, I need to read the whole Bible. I know all of these pieces. I know all the sound bites. I've heard them my whole life, but I need to read this text from cover to cover. And when I did that, that revolutionized my life. And the next year I began the Daily Audio Bible as a podcast to just simply read through it, thinking that this was... A one-year commitment, something that I would do, then I would have it for posterity, that it could be handed down to the generations. I didn't know my life was going to change, but when the Daily Audio Bible began, it struck a nerve. There's such a deep hunger for the, the scriptures in their kind of raw form. And so the Daily Audio Bible began and just exploded from there. And now we're 18 years. Well, this is the 18th year, seven days a week. And we haven't missed a day since January 1st, 2006. Wow. Brian, it's great to, again, see the face behind the sound so many of us have heard. And I appreciated your transparency there, too, talking about I knew the pieces, I knew the sound bites, but particularly how you said, before I just throw this all away, let me explore more. I really appreciate you sharing that. So what has happened in your heart, in your heart, since you started reading through the Bible every single day for 18 years? Man, uh, that's a tough question. I get asked that question often, and it's, it's hard to quantify because there's nothing that hasn't been touched, and there's nothing that hasn't been changed in my life. It's been revolutionized. I kind of grew up really, truly believing since I can remember that Jesus loved me. I always had a sense that his dad wasn't so happy about me. Uh, but when I read the Bible, I found this uh, passionate God that will not relent in his pursuit of humanity. And when I was able to personalize that and believe that his pursuit was of me as well, um, that was a game changer altogether. 
And Brian, there's like this entire community of believers that has been formed as a result of your podcast. What is this global campfire? Tell us about it. <laughs> the Global Campfire is just simply what we refer to as uh, as our community. We show up around the Global Campfire every day and um, with the intention that for the next few minutes as we allow the, the scriptures to wash into our lives and then just reflect on them for a few minutes, that we're building an oasis around the world, a safe place. I mean, the, the cares of this life are overwhelming at this point in history, and so we're running so fast that it's almost impossible to keep up. So to create this one safe space for a half an hour or so a day where we can come and let the cares of this life uh, sit at the door and allow the scriptures to speak this is this is what we do. We can go pick up those cares and carry them with us throughout the day, but often the scriptures inform us and in how to deal with those cares. And so this is just kind of what we call the global campfire, just showing up. Each of us have a place. Each of us have a reason. Each of us are taking the next step forward together. And Brian, I'm curious on your take on this. What would you say to someone? You know, we have people watching now who think, yeah, the Bible doesn't have too much to offer me right now in the time and the culture we're living in. How would you respond to that? I would say, first of all, yeah, I, I get it. Like that's that's what I thought for most of my life until I, uh, with open hands, read it. I, I wasn't reading it to try to decrypt it. I wasn't reading it to try to uh, disprove it. I was just reading it with open hands, believing that um, if God wanted to speak, then I was listening. There was no rebellion, and it 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 changed everything. And I, I have found over the years that when we read the Bible with an open heart and open hands, then the Bible reads us back. And um, so many of the stories, in fact, I would wager most of the stories in the Bible really reveal things about our own hearts and our own lives and our own motivations. And so. I, I don't think the Bible is this antiquated thing. I think it's the wisdom of the ages. I think it's God's word, and I think it speaks. And if we're listening, then we have eyes to see and ears to hear, like Jesus said. So good. And Brian, your team also does a whole lot more than just the audio, the daily audio Bible podcast. Tell us about the other projects and some of the resources that you have available. Well, Daily Audio Bible has a number of communities. So there's, there's the Daily Audio Bible that I do each day. And then we have a chronological version that my wife, Jill, does each day. We have, uh, and my daughter, China, along with my uh, wife, Jill, doing chronological together. Uh, and then uh, our son, Ezekiel, does Daily Audio Bible for kids each day. So we have uh, a number of programs that we're producing seven days a week here. And then we try to resource the community. There's a number of books that have been written that are available, a number of musical projects that have been written and are available. So we're always simply trying to create um, resources that are geared around the lifestyle of having the rhythm of the Bible in our lives each and every day. <laughs> what do you think is one of the biggest things you've learned since, I mean, I was struck earlier, you said I started out doing this, Brian, I think you said I planned for a year and now here you are, what, 18 years later. What's one of the biggest things you've learned spearheading this podcast? Man, the beautiful body of Christ, to be honest, is the first thing that comes to mind in the Daily Audio Bible community. We pray for each other each and every day. And we're a community that's literally on the same page, and our mission and goal is to simply go through every verse of the Bible in a year. And so just to watch what that rhythm does, just simply being on the same page, moving through the Bible, and seeing the uh, beauty of the community, the things that the community will bring and confess, the things that we will pray over, it has... Um, you know, I was listening to this package uh, just, bef just before I came on, and there was a guy who had been uh, just really disenfranchised by Christian people and had been hurt and thought the hypocrisy of it was just overwhelming. And I can say, yeah, I've seen that too. I've been in Christian ministry my whole life. I've seen that too. I just don't see it so often in the Daily Audio Bible community when the Bible is literally the center of everything that we do. I've seen the beauty of the body of Christ rise up, and it encourages and inspires me every day. 
Wow. Well, we are so grateful yeah. to have you with us today, Brian. You're doing a wonderful work. There is so much hunger people have for the Word of God. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Thank you. And if you would like to learn more about the Daily Audio Bible, just visit dailyaudiobible.com or download the app. And there you can find all of their resources. The Daily Audio Bible has everything from books to beanies. So you'll definitely want to check <laughs> it all out.